a mother condemned as an informer, taken out while her children watched and assassinated. But who gave the order? It's a question Jean McConville's son has wanted a public answer to every day of the 40 years since she disappeared. The image of her abduction still haunts him. The rap came to the door and all these people came into the house. They asked for my mother. They, they were trying to pull her mother out and that was the last, but any family members had seen my mother. It would be decades before his mother's body was discovered buried on a beach across the border. She'd been shot in the back of the head by members of the IRA. But was Ireland's best known Republican involved in any way? The finger has been pointed at Jerry Adams many times down the years, and now he is cooperating with the police. Before facing interrogation, he gave this interview to Irish broadcaster RTE. I will tell the PSNI that I'm innocent totally. I, I do have concerns about the timing. You know, I volunteered to meet with him. I said I was ready to meet with him. I do have concerns in the middle of an election about the. Uh, the timing. Voices from the grave have come back to haunt the Sinn Féin leader. Amongst them that of former IRA commander Brendan Hughes, who in interviews about the troubles for Boston College insisted Mr Adams was involved with the murder. A claim echoed by old Bailey bomber Dolores Price. Like Hughes, a former confidant of Adams, both committed to tape the claim that he was part of the plot, something he vehemently denies. I cannot uh, say whether Mr Adams will be charged or released. It strengthens our political process in Northern Ireland for people to know that no one is above the law. The Boston recordings have already led to 77-year-old Ivor Bell, a veteran Republican, being charged with aiding and abetting the murder of Mrs. McConville. But the arrest of Sinn Féin's lead figure has inevitably stirred old enmities. I view his arrest as a, a deliberate uh, attempt to influence the outcome of the elections that are due to take place in three weeks' time. And the fear is that tension may intensify with implications for peace in Northern Ireland. But if Gerry Adams knows anything, Jean McConville's children want to know. There is no evidence their mother was an informer. They've cleared her name and now they want justice.